Hello guys, how are we all doing? Welcome back to EFL Championship Predictions. We've got more massive games coming in the second division of English football. And Sophie, it is spicing up. Yeah, I mean, the playoffs and the relegation battle again is just so tight. Yeah, and the race for the top two. I mean, the, the, yeah. the top three teams are all playing hot potato with the automatic promotion spaces. There's so much to play for, guys. The scores from midweek between me and Sophie are here. 3-3. Three, three. Neither of us covered ourselves in glory. It does mean, though, that I'm still quite far in front overall. The final thing to do before we get into the video, guys, is go for the like target. We just fell short of 1,600 last time, so I'm going to set us a higher benchmark this time. 1,700. Make sure to drop a like. It's free to do. And the Championship, we, we get great support on here, Sophie. Mm -hmm. There's so many fans of the Championship. It's such a good league. It is. Yeah, it's so entertaining though. So drop a like, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We're so close to 62,000. We've got so much content coming over the final few weeks of the season. So get involved, get your predictions in. And let's go to the first game, Sophie, which is at home park. It's Plymouth Argyle versus Leicester City mm. on the Friday night. Ooh, it's, uh, it's that time of the season, Sophie, where quite a few teams have quite a lot to play for. And these are two teams that really could yeah. do with some points. Let's start with Plymouth Argyle, Sophie, mm -hmm. as they are the home team. They've picked up four points in the last two games. It's nudged them a bit further clear of trouble, but they're still nowhere near safe yet. No, I mean, I did think they'd put in a slightly better performance against QPR, and they didn't. And now they're coming up against Leicester, who are fighting for that top spot. So, very, very tricky game. It was important not to lose to QPR. That would have been a disaster. True. If they'd have won, it'd be massive. I think Plymouth are probably one more win and maybe one more draw away from mm. being safe. 49, 50 points. Yeah. Um, and although it looks difficult on paper here, it might not actually be as hard as you think because Leicester City, Sophie... What is going on? I mean, they got back to winning ways and they've lost to Millwall. It might just be a blip and they finish strong. But if you look at the last 10 games altogether, it's not automatic promotion form, is it? No, it's not. And there's a lot of pressure on those players now because they had such a big gap. And right now it's... <sighs> It's looking very, very tight for that top spot, so it could be anyone's. Yes. Now, as we said, Leicester City did lose in midweek to Millwall, but they got away with it because both Leeds and Ipswich drew nil-nil. They, mm -hmm. they drew a blank, which means Leicester are still top, but I don't know how many more opportunities they're going to get. Uh -huh. we, might, we might find that in the final three weeks, they all keep winning again. So you've got to get the wins on the board as soon as you can. I'm going to go for Plymouth Argyle to get something. Leicester, yes, they are the favourites, mm -hmm. but Plymouth have got something to play for too. And I reckon they can keep it close and get themselves a 1-1 draw. OK, do you know what? Purely judging off last game where they lost to Millwall, I guess you can't say that's unlikely for that to happen. <sighs> I do think that Leicester, they just really need to bounce back from that last game and... Again, that was a poor performance from them. Plymouth are better at home and they are also fighting. So I do think this will be a close game. But I'm just going to edge Leicester 1-0. There you go. 1-0 to Leicester City. Share your thoughts on that one, guys. Both teams have a lot to play for at home park between Plymouth and Leicester. On to the next one and we go to Ellen Road where it is Leeds United versus Blackburn Rovers, Sophie. And it's another matchup of a team going for the automatics versus a team trying to avoid the drop. Yeah. Let's start with Leeds, Sophie. It's now winless in two after losing yes. to Coventry and drawing 0-0 with Sunderland. Mm. One thing I will say is Leeds United really should have had a penalty. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, and they look like the more likely team to win, as you'd expect. We will give Sunderland credit, though. And if we, we are going to be honest, it was a nil-nil draw. We can't say the only reason Leeds didn't win is because they didn't get the penalty. Yeah. Um, they, they, they just weren't good enough. Mm -hmm. But we know that they can be. Yes, and yeah. if they can win this one, they'll get back on track because Leicester and Ipswich also dropped some points. Blackburn, Sophie, last week they scored five at Sunderland. This week they conceded five yeah. at Bristol City. I, know, I think I backed them to get something as well. So. You backed them to win. <laughs> yeah, well, I was close. Hit the post on that one. Yeah, 5-0. But Bristol City are capable of, I didn't think quite turning over a team like that, but getting a win when you think, mm, they're not really playing for anything, and Blackburn are, but it seemed more so that Blackburn just shot themselves in the foot repeatedly. Yeah, uh, I don't think the Blackburn Rovers fans were too happy with some of the defensive performances there. 
Um, it's a massive opportunity for Leeds United. If they can't beat Blackburn, who are coming off the back of a 5-0 away defeat as they travel now to Leeds, then I do worry for Leeds. They mm. have to win this one. Yeah. They've got away with not winning the last two because Ipswich have been dropping points. Mm -hmm. Leicester are not clear yet. I've stood by Leeds winning the league all season and I still stand by them being in the top two. I'm going to go Leeds 2-0, but seriously, if they don't win this, then there's some big question marks. But I'm going with them. Leeds United, I'm still with you. What are you saying? Yeah, no, I'm agreeing with the scoreline. I'm going to say 2-0. I think that was a very, very poor performance for Blackburn. They're going to want to bounce back for that because they're very, very close to that relegation zone. But Leeds really do need the win as well. It, as you said, it's two teams that desperately need the win, so it's very, very hard to call. But Leeds have the quality. It's just whether they turn up on the day. And I think I think they will. 2-0. Two 2-0. Nil. Two nil. Yeah, I think, I think Blackburn have got to be at least somewhat better than what they were. They're, yeah. they're not going to lose 5-0 again. Well, but... I don't know. Well, they might, but yeah. I, I don't see I don't see no. them getting anything from it at the same time. I feel pretty comfortable with 2-0. Share your thoughts, guys. On to the next one, Sophie. We will be going to it. It's the St Andrews Derby, Birmingham City versus Coventry City. And there's a lot riding on this one, Sophie. Let's start with our team quickly. Coventry City, we lost to Southampton. It's not great. We missed a penalty. Yeah. To not get any points in that game, you know, this late on in the season is very disappointing. But I'm going to try and take the positives. We've got a hard game out the way mm -hmm. and Norwich dropped some points. So we're five points off with a game in hand. I think we're still in there, but we have to win this one. Yeah, I agree. Um, against Southampton, there are a couple controversial decisions, but you can't put it all down to the ref. Um, he did give us a penalty, which was very soft and we didn't take it. So it could have been a very, very different game. Coming up against Birmingham, I'm much more confident with this one. And I'll say it now, I actually think Birmingham are going down. Whoa. Yeah, honestly, I think a couple of seasons where you think, oh, they just somehow managed to stay up, but they don't seem to have that same fight about them right now. So I can see them going down. So as we said, Coventry lost to Southampton. Yeah. Uh, we could say, you know, one or both of their goals look like handballs. But either way, I think Southampton were the better team for the majority of the game. Yeah. Um, as for Birmingham, they lost in midweek. They lost at home to Cardiff 1-0. Yeah. And yeah. they are 23rd with four games to go. Now, I don't know how to feel about that. Do you know what? I was thinking, I would have felt more confident as a Coventry fan coming into this game if Birmingham had won in midweek. Yeah. Because yeah. you'd think they, they've got... They've got a little bit of respite after a win, whereas now they have to get desperate. something. Yeah. They are going to be so desperate. And I, I I, think Coventry might not win this, you know. No, come on. I don't know. So, I mean, we've got the quality. We've got the yeah. quality. But you look at Birmingham's situation, they've got to scrap. And mm. I think if we beat them, I would think they're on their way down. That they're, they're, they're in a bleak position. Gary Rowett has got to grind something out, and mm -hmm. I think he might get a draw I don't I, could, hmm, I don't know about Birmingham winning they might win but we don't tend to lose to them I don't think we'll lose we tend to win or draw mm. I'm going to I'm going to be a bit of a pessimist and say it's okay. a draw 1-1 one, one. Well, I can see why you're saying it because it almost feels like right now Birmingham have more to fight for but there is still a chance at playoffs we just need to win all our games and hope other teams drop points but I don't think it's going to be a one-sided game at all. I do think it's going to be a little bit edgy, but I think we've got the quality to do it. So 2-1 to the Sky Blues. 2-1. Like I say, look out for our match vlog because we will be there. Make sure to subscribe so you see it. I, mm, I'm i just a bit nervous about that one. Coventry, for me, have to at least win four out of five to make the playoffs. I don't, yeah. I don't know if we have to win five out of five. I think four wins out of five might be enough. And obviously, after this one, we've got an eight-day break at the Manchester United. So, mm -hmm. it'd be nice to, to leave our league campaign with a win before exactly. having a little break. Okay, share your thoughts. On to the next one. We have Bristol City versus Huddersfield. Is there any stopping this Bristol City momentum? Mm, possibly. But they're, they're a strange team, to be honest. That's why they're in the position they're in. Because at times you think, God, really, they could be fighting for the playoffs. And then they'll follow it up with like, a poor result. So... I don't know. It was a very, very good performance. They took their chance as well. So I do think they are capable of winning this one again. Yes. Now, obviously, Huddersfield Town are the team with more to play for here. They lost 4-1 to Preston, which leaves them in a dangerous yeah. position. 
they could do with at least a draw. A win would be huge, but a draw yeah. a draw would be something, especially given the form Bristol City are in. I mean, Bristol City are playing so well. I don't mm. know if it's the fact that they've not really got anything to play for now. They've got that freedom. Exactly, yeah. Um, but I feel like I can't win with the Bristol City fans here because when I back them not to win, they'll yeah. tell me off, but they'll keep winning. I feel like if I go for Bristol City here, they'll they'll be they like, oh, win. OK. Yeah, yeah, but they won't win. And then, yeah, yeah. They won't win. But I'm going to go for them. Bristol City, 2-0. Yeah. I think after their last performance, you can't not. I'm going to say 3-1 Bristol City. They've obviously got enough going forward and <laughs> they sort of shown that they can still concede quite a few goals. But I think they are capable of getting a goal. But right now, that's not enough. They need points. Preferably a point, but I don't see it happening. 3-1. 3-1. On to the next one then, which is Hull City versus Queen's Park Rangers, Sophie. Let's start with Hull. Mm -hmm. I backed them to draw 2-2 with Middlesbrough. Good shout, that. It was my only good shout in midweek, to be <laughs> honest. Uh, but yeah, I thought I thought it would be like that, because that was two good teams, two teams capable of making the playoffs, but the draw doesn't really help either of them. No. Um, Hull City have still got a chance. They've still got the game in hand against Coventry, but they have to be pretty flawless to get into the playoffs now. And they have to win this one. But my issue with Hull City seems to be their home form. Mm. It's not as good. It just seems like they can't quite get the three points at home sometimes. Mm -hmm. And they take on QPR, which is a difficult game. Mm. QPR with one point from their last two, which is not great against Sheffield Wednesday and Plymouth. But I think they've done most of the hard work they need to. Great. One more win. And I think QPR are safe. But I will go with Hull City, who need to get more wins. Okay. Uh, 2-1. Okay, I'm actually going to say a draw for this one. I actually think QPR are capable of getting a draw and Hull's form right now isn't amazing. They've got the quality there, so right now, I don't know if the pressure's getting to them a little bit, but they are underperforming for me because they're a very good team. They've got a good manager. They're a bit patchy. Exactly, they? yeah. Mm. So they're in that kind of poor patch at the moment and I think they're only capable of getting a draw. So 1-1. One, one. There you go. You go for a draw, I'll go for a Hull City win. Share your thoughts on that one, guys. I just think... If Hull City don't win this one... Playoffs are off. It might be. It might be, yeah. yeah. It's, it all depends on Norwich, because if Norwich keep losing or something, then we're all still in it. I don't see that happening, though. On to the next one. Let's go to Portman Road. It's Ipswich Town versus Middlesbrough, Sophie. Both sides with a draw in midweek, which wasn't great. Let's start with Middlesbrough, because we were just talking about them. They yep. drew 2-2 two -two at Hull City. They took the lead. They then went behind. They had to come from behind to get a draw. Mm -hmm. And it keeps this good, unbeaten run going. Exactly. But they need wins, because they've been playing catch-up. I mean, what I will say is a super well done to Middlesbrough, because... Five weeks ago, I had you down as nothing to play for. And they've um, dragged themselves into this. Yeah. But they might just not... Have, well, if they win all four of their games, they get to 74 points. That mm. could be enough, but it might not be. So they have to win this. Ipswich Town really need to go back to winning ways, Sophie. Yeah. Nil-nil against Watford does feel like a missed opportunity. It, yeah, it, it did. I did think they'd win that one, but... Mm. Watford can be frustrating. Yeah, I think, I don't want to say Ipswich have bottled it. I wouldn't say they've bottled no. it. I think Watford are playing actually quite well at the moment mm -hmm. and they're getting quite a few draws. Mm -hmm. And it does look like Ipswich nearly won, you know, based on the chances they created and, you know, the amount of attacks that they had. Yeah. I think it'll be more suited to Ipswich if this game is open. Yes, definitely. I think if, if Middlesbrough come and attack and there's loads of goals for both teams, that's where I think Ipswich are more likely to win. Yeah. And as we said, they need to go back to winning ways. Because if Leeds and Leicester win, then Ipswich are back out of the top two if they don't win. Yeah. So we'll go for an entertaining Ipswich 3, Middlesbrough 2. Oh, OK. You think there's going to be quite a few goals. Um, do you know what? I'm going to go for the Desmond this week. I oh. think there could be a few goals, but I'm struggling to separate the two. I think Middlesbrough can turn up, give them a good game and get a point off them. 2-2. Mm. Do you know what? I can see that. Yeah. But the only thing is, neither of them would be happy with that. No, they wouldn't, to be honest. They need more than a point, but it'd be a good, entertaining game for a neutral. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, on paper, a draw away at Ipswich is really good. But as we said, Middles right now. Middlesbrough have to win every yeah. game. So share your thoughts, guys. On to the next one, and we'll go to the Den, Sophie. It's Millwall versus Cardiff City. Well, um, fair play to both teams. Both, both, got, them, both yeah. got a win in mm -hmm. midweek and we both backed them to lose. So we'll put our hands up. Um, Millwall, they beat Leicester and what a win that was. Yeah. 
given that they've just lost to Huddersfield and Rotherham, it all of a sudden looks like Millwall are going to be okay again. But then if they lose this, they're back into the trouble yeah. again. It, it, it's going to change every week. But I do feel like at home, I trust Millwall a bit more. They take on Cardiff, Sophie, who I, you just can't underestimate. I mean, the Cardiff fans are absolutely right. When I don't back them to win, they win. So... They'll be wanting you to go against them again then. Do you know what? I think it'll satisfy both fans if what? I go for Millwall. Um, <laughs> because Cardiff will be wanting me to yeah. back them to lose. So I'll go for a trusty Millwall 1-0. One one again. I think Millwall edged this, but like I say, Cardiff might edge this. I don't know. It's, it's don't, quite close. Yeah, it is close. And that's why I don't think I can separate the two. I'm going to... I'm going to say 1-1. One, one. Could, I could see it being a draw, 0-0 nil, nil or 1-1. One, one. But I think maybe each team will get a goal apiece. So I'll say 1-1 one, one purely because I'm struggling to separate them. Yeah. Share your thoughts, guys, on that game at the Den. Mill will definitely have more to play for. Cardiff... Mm. Cardiff can't really make the playoffs anymore. It's it's kind of gone now, but they've had a great season and still. Yeah, came... on their day, I think they're the better team. It's just mm. they're not really fighting for anything now. But equally, that could go in their favour. Well, so... yeah, they just beat Blues, know, who had a lot yeah. to fight for. Okay, on to the next one. Let's go to Deepdale. It is Preston versus Norwich City. It's a big game in the playoff race. And Preston fans, stick around. We've got one more prediction for you guys at the end of the video because you guys are playing twice in the next week. Let's start with Preston Sophie. At the weekend, they drew with Watford and mm -hmm. everyone else won. And it felt like, oh, they've missed out. But then everyone didn't win, but they did. And they did. They yeah. smashed Huddersfield coming from behind. And they go into this game with a chance. And if you work this out, Sophie, it kind of is in Preston's hands to get into the playoffs right now. Mm. Because if they beat Norwich and then win their game in hand, which is a tall order, but if they do that, they're above Norwich. Yeah. It's going to be difficult, though, Sophie. Norwich are a great team. They nearly got the win against Sheffield Wednesday. But the thing is, they're just not as good away. Mm -hmm. um, they, they've won, like, ten in a row at home. But away from home, not as good. Not as good. And oh, Preston are going to have to be so good. Their fans have got to be right behind them because they've got a real chance of making the playoffs. But they have to win. I mean, a win for Norwich is Preston's season's done. If if Norwich win, even mm -hmm. even a draw wouldn't be great for Preston. They have to make sure they they go for the win. Mm, yeah. And I'll I'll do it so just to make things more interesting. Preston two, Norwich one, and okay. I, I suppose we've got to be honest and say we'll be rooting for for P and E. Yeah. But I'm gonna go the other way. Oh, I I backed Norwich last time. They let me down. So I'm almost hoping that if I back them again, they'll let me down. I'm gonna say two one Norwich. I didn't want to go against Preston. I was really tempted to say a draw, but I thought both teams need to go for the win here. I mean, a draw would probably suit Norwich a little bit more. As you say, they're not the best away from home, but really to cement that playoff place, they need a win. And I think they're going to do it 2-1. Two 2-1 one. Two one Norwich. Oof. We'll be keeping an eye on that one, yeah, won't yeah, we? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it really opened things up if Preston do win that game. On to the next one, Sophie. Let's go to Hillsborough. It's Sheffield Wednesday versus Stoke City. Oh, this mm. is massive. There's only three points separating these teams. Uh, so Sheffield Wednesday, with a win, can move level on points with Stoke, but they haven't got as good a goal difference. Mm -hmm. Or theirs is worse, should I say. It shouldn't be saying it in good terms when, yeah. you, when you're down at the bottom. Uh, but let's give Sheffield Wednesday credit, Sophie. They keep going, and they keep finding themselves in this position where they're so close to getting out of the bottom three. I was cheering when they equalised against oh, Norwich. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I was a full-on Wednesday fan. Well done, Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, well done. You. I've backed you all season. I'm going to keep saying it. I'm still backing you. Stoke City are a strange one. They've picked up a couple of decent results recently, but they got a hammering at Swansea. Yeah. And I fancy Sheffield Wednesday here, especially mm. with the home crowd behind them. So this might be the weekend where Sheffield Wednesday come out of the bottom three. Wednesday, 1-0. Oh, I'm actually going 1-0 as well. I don't think it's going to be a really open game. I think because there's so much to play for, both teams will be like, oh, we really don't want to lose this. I actually see Wednesday getting it over the line and getting a massive, massive three points. 1-0. I love you, Wednesday. <laughs> On to the next one. We've got Southampton versus Watford. Uh, a big game at St Mary's, Sophie, because 
Southampton are not out of the top two race. They're not. They're going to be looking up the board and thinking they're dropping points. If they keep doing that, we're straight back in. Yeah. If they can, if they can win, win this, this yeah. and everyone else keeps dropping points, they're in. I, I wouldn't have thought I'd be saying this, but it can change in just one set of results. Yeah. Southampton beat Coventry, and it wasn't just that, but I thought they played quite well. And Leeds, Leicester and Ipswich have faltered. They've still got games in hand, but they still have to be pretty good. They're up against Watford though, Sophie, who've drawn four games out of four. Mm -hmm. And they're drawing against teams that have got a lot to play for. West Brom, Ipswich, Preston. Do you know, I'm, I feel unfair if I go for Southampton, even though... I favour them more. Yeah. I, I'm going to go for another Watford draw. They keep, I am. They keep I am. drawing. Yeah, no. what's, what's wrong with them? I mean, fair play to them because they've not got a lot to play for and they're taking points off good teams. It'd be great if they can turn one of these draws into a win, but I'll go for a draw. 1 1. Yeah, if I was to stick money on this, I'd probably go Southampton or draw. I think that'd kind of cover myself nicely, but then, like you said, I can't not back a Watford draw. They've been drawing so many times. I think they're capable of getting another draw against Southampton. And right now for Southampton, if they want the automatics, it's not enough. So they really need the win. So I could see them doing it, but not enough. So 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. There you go. Share your thoughts, guys. We're going for the same at St Mary's. Yeah. Next up, Sophie, down to South Wales, where it is Swansea City versus relegated Rotherham. Um, let's start with Rotherham, Sophie. They've not got a lot to play for. <laughs> I feel really bad for their fans. Not mm. not many of them made the journey to West Brom, and you can understand why when they've been so poor. But when your luck is out, your luck is out. Did you see the, the penalty? penalty shout that was way out the box. It hit him in the face, and he was about and four out yards outside the yeah. box. A penalty for West Brom for that was absolutely mental. And I saw West Brom fans going mental, saying how bad of a decision it was. It was shocking. Was. Yeah. Sack that referee. They take on Swansea, Sophie, where I just can't see Rotherham's fortunes changing because no. Swansea are virtually safe now. They've hit the 50-point mark. They got a great win against Stoke. And unless they were to lose this game somehow, then they're safe, aren't yeah, they? So, yeah. Swansea, 2 nil. I'm going to go for another 2 nil loss for Rotherham. I think they were quite unlucky at points in the West Brom game. They'd probably be a little bit unlucky in this one again, but... When you look is out, you look is out, and they've had a poor season. And for me, this will be Swansea's safety game. And yeah, 2 0. 2 0. Yeah, I just. It's, it's so frustrating for the Rotherham fans, but you've just got to keep going till 46 games have been played. It, yeah. It's horrible. But honestly, what I will say is, I absolutely salute the Rotherham fans that are still going, mm -hmm. especially to the away games like this. Yeah. This is really far from Rotherham. So fair play to you. Honestly, a lot of respect. On to the next one then, and we'll go to the Hawthorne Sophie. It's West Bromwich Albion versus Sunderland. Um. Let's quickly mention both teams' results in midweek. Now, West Brom, they've been drawing a lot. I keep predicting them to draw, and they keep drawing. But when they came up against Rotherham at home, I obviously I obviously backed them to win, and yeah. so did you. And you actually said 2-0. Yeah, got that. So, so well done. Um, it, it was always a winnable game, and they got the win. So fair play. As we said, a dubious decision for the penalty, but West Brom, the stronger of the teams anyway, so deserving yeah. of the win. Um yeah, it puts West Brom quite a bit more clear of the chasing pack because a lot of them dropped points in midweek. I think if they win this, they're probably there. If they win this, it takes them to 75. Mm -hmm. But I, I might go back to draws here for West Brom because okay. they've been drawing quite a lot of games up until they played Rotherham, who was always going to be you know a winnable game against. And Sunderland, Sophie... Great nil-nil draw at Leeds. It was, yeah. You've got to give them some credit for that. Yeah. So. As we said, it, there could have been a penalty for Leeds, but I don't want to take anything away from Sunderland's performance. Really dogged. And it's back-to-back nil-nil draws for Sunderland against Bristol City and Leeds. Two good teams. And maybe that's the way forward. Maybe they'll try and grind out a, a clean sheet and a draw or possibly a win. I'll go low scoring, but I will go with both teams to score. I'm going to go West Brom 1, Sunderland 1, which would mean West Brom move a little bit closer to securing their playoff place, but just making their fans wait that little bit longer. I think you're back in results that you want to play out today. You've gone for a Norwich loss and a West Brom draw. Oh, and I'm going for results that I don't want to happen, but I can see happening. Norwich win and a West Brom win. Can, gonna... can I just point out, I didn't go back on. Coventry to win, did I? True, true. Carry on. that, all right. Uh, I think West Brom win. I think it'll be nil-nil up until quite late on and I see West Brom just getting over the line and us being absolutely devastated. But mm. I can see it happening. 
one nil West Brom. I think they've just done enough this season. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it looks quite likely it could be West Brom v Southampton in the playoffs, but yeah. it, it might change. As for Sunderland, they've not got a lot to play for, but I think they could rock up and get a draw because they've picked up some decent points lately. Uh, the final game we'll mention, very briefly, is a midweek catch-up game. Southampton take on Preston. Obviously, both teams will have played again before this one rolls around. Um, just to get a quick prediction in, both teams have a lot to play for. Both teams could do with a win. I'll go for an unhelpful 1-1, which would probably be a better okay. result for Preston. But, yeah, um, yeah I'll, I'll go 1-1. Southampton are going to be quite tired through April. They've got a lot of games. They have, but I think they might put in a similar performance as they didn't get did against Cough um, at home to Preston. And I can see a similar scoreline playing out. I think they'll get it over the line. So I'll say 2-1. 2-1 to Southampton. Yeah. There you go. We thought we'd quickly mention that one. There you go. 13 games in the championship this week. Get your predictions in for all 13 of them. Um, yeah, there's so much to play for. And yeah. I'm loving the championship right now. Like I say, guys, get your comments down below. Make sure you've dropped a like. We're going for 1,700. Are we going to do it? Of course. Make sure to subscribe as well. That's free to do. Go on, I can see you there. You've not subscribed yet. You've got to hit the subscribe button. And thank you for joining me, Sophie. Thank you. We will see you in the next one. Take care. Peace out.